I'm grappling with this question of the best programming languages for blockchain and I'm not able to get a right answer for this. Uh, so I thought I'll make a video on this one. So here's uh, the top languages that you should learn if you want to learn programming and uh, stay in the blockchain arena. So first one is Java. Java is, <clears throat> as you know, one of the best programming enterprise languages. Java, you know, is famous because of its uh, virtual mach machine JVM concept, Java virtual machine concept. And uh, it's one of the good languages to learn if you're learning cryptocurrency. Another language you should explore, so the other languages you should explore apart from Java is uh, C++. C++ is another language which is quite famous um, for and development and this is especially famous for development of most blockchains. Most blockchains use C++ as a language of development and we'll get into those uh, you know specific blockchains as well but this is just an overview and the next one is go go is a systems level programming language um jo was go was released by google in 2013 um uh, it's it's not maybe the first programming language for people but a good programming language because it operates mainly at uh, systems level and you can see that uh, you know it starts off with a function here so any language which start off, starts off with that is closer to the system. I mean, the syntax is very similar to C. Um, so this is another option. The other option is uh, Rust. Rust is another option for um, cryptocurrencies uh, in as a programming language. Um, Rust is coming up in a big way in the uh, machine learning world as well. It's again Rust. Uh, Rust is a systems programming language that runs blazing fast, prevents C faults and guarantees threat safety. Um, then you have, uh, of course, the most ubiquitously used language, JavaScript. JavaScript is used again quite extensively in the Bitcoin cryptocurrency world. Uh, Python next one is python python is also quite extensively used i mean these are safe choices so python is one language that i'd recommend to anybody i mean this is one of the easiest language to learn white spaces easy syntax english reading syntax very very you know user friendly beginner friendly kind of a language so first language if you want to learn should be python or javascript uh, python little more than javascript i would say because i I, you know, I prefer Python and also because, you know, JavaScript is a little more loosely typed for my sense. Um, and Python has a lot more use cases than JavaScript. And that being said, JavaScript is not lesser in any sense. Okay, so uh, the next one is Ruby. Ruby is another, uh, this is the language of the, um, of the web world, of course. Uh, quite a famous language. Again, written by a Japanese guy. Um, and uh, quite famous language, uh, especially good at the backend stuff and very good at building quick web, quick web apps. So these were the languages. And uh, now let's look at a specific ecosystem. So if you're learning Ethereum, then you should definitely learn Solidity. Uh, so as Solidity, uh, this is a language which was developed by the, uh, the founder of Ethereum, uh, Ivan Butnik, I guess. And uh, this language is um, basically Solidity is a contract oriented high level programming implementation language for smart contracts. So if you are into smart contracts, perhaps this is a language. Uh, it was influenced by C++, Python and JavaScript. So you see again C++, Python and JavaScript and is designed to target Ethereum virtual machines. Uh, Solidity is statically typed. Suppose, uh, supports inheritance, libraries, complex user defined types among other features. As you will see, it's easy to create contracts for voting, crowd funding, blind auctions, multi-signature wallets using Solidity. So all these languages have basis based on C++, Python and JavaScript. Uh, so if you don't believe my word for it, let's just go through it, you know, and, and give us, give it a go. So I'm going to open one of, let's say Ethereum. So Ethereum is the you know the most famous cryptocurrency after bitcoin so if you look at this area it says that it was written in c++ go rust and solidity so clearly 
you know if you want to learn any of these languages uh, you know you would do well in the ethereum ecosystem likewise if you look at ripple ripple was uh, created the programming languages they have used is python again one of the best languages to have and um, if you look at stellar uh, stellar is another great uh, cryptocurrency and stellar if you look at the repository of stellar it says stellar core was written in c++ uh, horizon in go javascript so again the words are repeating you know it's go javascript c++ go javascript python c++ so all of those are repeating um, so i'm just going to go so the way i i typically find which language is used by which cryptocurrency is that i go into the cryptocurrency market capitalization site then i choose the currency that i want to know more about so let's say in this particular case i was going to you know look for uh, we already checked ripple so let's check we already checked stellar but let's do it one more time so go to the source code if you click on the source code you would know the language that they're using it's it's one of the easy ways to find it out and uh, you can easily figure it out from here so another language let's just go and check out for iota so i iota if you click on the source code you would see it says javascript java and javascript so you get a sense that this this language was written in javascript java and and uh, of course javascript and if you look at the libraries you will see the dot py libraries here so clearly python is also used here so python would be a good bet to go javascript would be a good bet to go if you are a beginner go with javascript go with python if you are intermediate then java is a good option uh, and c++ is also a good option if you are going to a little, little bit of advanced stuff go with java you know, go with c++ or go and if you really want to get into the nuts and bolts and of course c is always there for you um, this is ethereum uh, the, another coin is called verge which is one of my favorite coins this uses javascript and it uses php that's quite surprising for me uh but maybe they use php because they have got a web app as well so it uses php it uses python um so basically it's the same gang of languages um that you would use and this is iota and i'm i'm looking at iota and i see javascript here so they have used javascript libraries here and they have given some examples here all written in javascript um <clears throat> so this is particularly written written in json which is javascript object notation uh, but again it's a javascript area if you look at bitcoin per se and this is bitcoin cash now let's look at bitcoin cash and bitcoin because i want to get a sense of bitcoin and bitcoin cash now bitcoin if you must have heard was written in c++ so bitcoin is quite a known word i think bitcoin cash must also be written in c++ but let me not second guess it let us go and check it out so i am going to go to the website here uh, and see so i have coin market here so if i look at uh, bitcoin cash and if i look at the source code i'll get a fairly high level idea from it so so you see ruby is used here i think you ruby is used for the back end of course html is used for the front end uh, a lot of gems are used so there is quite a usage of 
ruby here and of course it is a fork of bitcoin so perhaps they have also used uh, c++ here so i would say c++ and ruby for bitcoin cash and um, let's look at a couple of more um, okay let's look at nem and again i'm going to source code clicking at source code and it tells me java javascript and this guy uses swift i think this is for the wallet uh, so this must be basically for the app uh, but i think for the systems development they perhaps use c++ and uh, for connectivity and because these are all web based languages as well web based platforms as well uh, there is definitely use of javascript and uh, python here so uh, so that's it about it so if you uh, want to get into the cryptocurrency world i would start with uh, javascript then i would use python and if i really want to get into it i would use c++ which is of course a great language to know as well it is a general purpose programming language it is imperative it is object oriented and it is generic and it it obviously is a better way of manipulating your memory so it has got memory manipulation capability so i perhaps think it also does garbage collection in a good way and it has got uh, so it's got some low memory management manipulation capabilities uh, so it's got all the good features of c and it's got c++ additional features so c++ might also be good so that was pretty much about it folks i hope you like this video and have a great day thanks bye bye